Hey, so I want to show you a story that I stumbled across because it takes the whole uh, efforts to support black communities to another level by essentially ignoring poor whites. Again, we, we've, we've been seeing this pattern and I like to draw attention to it when we see it because you never see this in the reverse direction. I have never seen any ad anywhere that says poor white kids only, for example, or something effectively that way. But in fact, you do see articles like this one. And this is in Greensboro, North Carolina. It says Triad Dental Office works to serve black and brown communities regardless of income. Now, at first I wasn't sure, like, when they say regardless of income, is it just a bad writer who means that they're unable to pay? And so it's kind of like trying to imply that? Or do they really mean regardless of where the black and brown people lay on the economic ladder? It kind of sounds like the latter. But I'd like to draw your attention to a quote down here where you've got Dr. Keshina Hollis, the regional managing partner for Triad Kids Dental, and she said, quote, I was actually talking to a partner of mine today, and the question was, do you think it is income-based or racial-based? And I, and I said, well, if we're being honest and we look at this country and we look at who's on the lower end of the economic spectrum, it is black, brown, people of color that that impacts. So while it's easy to try to focus in and divide the two, that's just not the reality. Now, the thing is, there actually are really poor white kids. Um, that's a thing. Uh, ignoring them doesn't make them cease to exist. Denying their needs doesn't make them cease to exist. Um, black suffering isn't worse than white suffering. That's, I mean, and that's the sort of implication. But again, this kind of um, prioritization you don't see in the reverse direction. When we're told this is a this is a white supremacist society that we live in that is designed to give benefits to white people, but by and large, what you actually see is the reverse. And what you and so the people who are poor within racial groups such as whites and Asians, they in many cases actually suffer worse because the programs that exist supposedly to help the poor are no longer just to help the poor and really haven't been for some time in a lot of these systems, but are instead to help the poor only as they exist within a certain racial bracket, which is not those, right? And so in the areas of, of in some cases, medical assistance, certainly in housing and in college applications, you see over and over again that race is a huge issue and um, it's to prioritize non-whites and non-Asians. And so that's why you see so many white kids pretending to be some other race when they're applying for college applications. And I wouldn't be very surprised if you saw white parents pretending to be some kind of mixed race in order to get their kids helped for, you know, cheaper dental care, right? Now, I don't think that what is actually being done here, if the article reported it correctly, is even legal. I think it's a violation of the Civil Rights Act. But in any event, I'm actually not big on the Civil Rights Act. I'm really not. I don't think that a private business owner should be forced to provide a service to anyone, whether it's, you know, bake my gay cake or whether it's serve this person who I don't want to serve. I don't think so. I think that the free market is perfectly capable of sorting out that particular um, issue. I, I really do. I think a, a person should be able to say, no, I'm unwilling to act in this way. So there you go. But when it comes to this on a moral level, I think it's absolutely evil to say, okay, so these poor white kids who live in trailer parks oftentimes, who live in this area that um, that Hollywood would, would refer to as flyover country because, you know, you don't want to stop in there. Um, those kids exist and their suffering is real and incredibly they are, or increasingly they are marginalized, they are ignored, you don't see Hollywood movies made about them. You don't see um, any sort of schemes created that are directed to them. You only see schemes directed to other racial groups. And it's absolutely wrong. And I think it's increasing. It's increasing as those people, those unrepresented people, truly, the unrepresented poor white kids and poor Asian kids, um, that they're suffering the brunt of it because they have no representation anywhere and so many people are so afraid to say the word white that they won't even cover topics like this and i will hey you're still here don't forget to give the video a like subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends i've also got links in the description as to how you can help support my work thank you so much